Hey guys, if you want to enter this week's giveaway, it's really easy. All you have to do is like this video and subscribe with notifications turned on. And for every like all my videos get this week, I'll add one gem to the giveaway winner. Then during my usual weekly story videos, I'll announce the winner at the end of that video, and all that winner has to do is comment on that video to claim their prize. Also, in case you are skeptical of the giveaway, because I do know that some people are, I'll do my best to explain it and convince you guys on its legitimacy, so stick around for the end of the video to see that. Hey guys, so it is official, Town Hall 12 is 100% confirmed, and we have even already got to see some sneak peeks of what it's going to look like, what it's going to do, and even some other hidden clues on what else is coming. Along with it is such such as a new troop, and some new level defenses, and some new level uh, uh, different storages, and other buildings alike. Stay tuned for all of that inside of today's video. So firstly, I just wanted to quickly apologize for having this video come out so late. I know Galadon, General Tony, and a bunch of other Clash of Clans YouTubers have already made videos about like 10 hours ago. Unfortunately though, uh, I'm still in high school so I had to prioritize going to school over this. Really wish they didn't release all these sneak peeks at 2 in the morning, but oh well, that's the way she goes. Usually I'm actually up at that time anyways, but today I had a big project and presentation so I ended up going to bed a bit earlier. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and talk a bit about what makes this town hall so much different and I'll even give you guys a few thoughts on some things I think Supercell could do or add as well to make this update more appealing to every single player since the large majority of the Clash commun community is not even ready to move on to Town Hall 12 just yet. And then at the end of the video, I'll also share some more hidden update hints about a potential new troop and some new defense levels and such. Uh, because inside of some developer build videos that, are, that have recently been uh, deleted because they actually ended up leaking too much stuff, uh, I was able to grab some screenshots from all of that and I'll share that with you guys in a bit. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and check out first the most obvious thing that is going to be coming and that was recently talked about, uh, Town Hall 12. So they even have a little post here so I'll just go ahead and quickly go through that. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard of it but for those of you who haven't, uh, Town Hall 12 is 100% confirmed, they are releasing it. Uh, they released a little video with just kind of showing like little different sides of Town Hall 12. It definitely has an electric theme to it, and that also goes with the hidden defense that is inside of it called the Giga Tesla. And it says, when you upgrade to Town Hall 12, the Town Hall itself is now a defensive structure capable of defending itself. If an, op if an opponent so much as scratches the paint, the Giga Tesla will emerge. Uh, so at first, when no one, nothing attacks the town hall, uh, the town hall will just be a regular town hall. It won't be able to attack. But once the slightest bit of damage is dealt to the town hall, that is when um, <clears throat> the Giga Tesla, which is like a Mega Tesla, basically, uh, is going to sprout out from the town hall and start attacking. And then you're going to be able to upgrade your town hall even once it's at town hall 12. Uh, but instead of like going up levels, it's going to go up stars all the way up to five stars. And for each star that the town hall gets. Uh, so say, sorry, say your town hall is at level 1 with the 1 star, the Tesla will be able to attack 1 opponent at once, if it has 2 stars it will be able to attack 2, and 3, three you can attack 3, 4, you can attack 4 obviously, and then at 5 you'll be able to attack 5 different troops at once, and also it adds a new mechanic to the town hall, where once it is destroyed it basically acts as a bomb tower and it'll have a massive uh, destruction where wherever it was destroyed it'll take out tons of troops that were surrounding it. But anyway, so that is basically what is coming with Town Hall 12. Just really quickly breeze through that. If you guys want to learn more about it or in Supercell's words, you can go ahead, check it out in game for yourself. But I wanted to, I do want to move on to um, the next thing. So that's basically what Town Hall 12 is and my quick let Oh, and I just wanted to share my quick little idea with you guys. Uh, so basically my, my idea is to make, uh, sorry, got to ignore that text. Um, uh, where was I? Okay, yeah, so my quick little idea to make this update more appealing for everyone is actually to have it where there will be a new defense hidden inside of not only Town Hall 12, but for every single Town Hall level. I don't want to share too much about this idea since I have actually uh, already made a full video explaining this update idea and that video will be coming out later. Uh, so I'll just leave you guys with that one for now. And then once I do upload that video, you can go ahead and check that out and see exactly what I mean. But basically this way it will allow each and every single player to get on this new defensive town hall feature without making it too overpowered. Uh, and it'll all be starting at town hall 8 where you'll be able to basically incorporate a defense inside into your town hall. But I'll explain more of that in that video. Anyways, next up is going to be some little hidden sneak peek to the brand new wall levels. Uh, so this video has recently been deleted, but I was able to snag a few screenshots. Um, and I actually did predict this in one of my previous videos really recently, where I thought they would be adding the blue electric theme for Town Hall 12. And in a way, they sort of did bring back the old blue uh, lightning walls from a few years ago, except they sort of redesigned them and just kind of took inspiration from them instead. 
Uh, so I am a big fan of these new walls, but unfortunately I won't be able to use them for a long time since I am still stuck with these dreaded walls right here, and I have so many more to upgrade. Um, but anyways, yeah, like I said, only a few hundred more walls to go and then a whole another set of levels after that. But anyways, next up are going to be some leaked photos of the five different levels of the new town hall. Here you can see it on screen. I believe all of these variations are just the town halls uh, before the Giga Tesla pops out. And in a way, with this new town hall feature, it sort of reminds me of something that I actually predicted about two months ago as well, where I said in a video that I thought we will be getting a town hall 12, but I thought that they would switch it up a bit in some way and maybe bring us like a geared up town hall. And in a way, this new town hall is basically a geared up town hall since it pretty much combined a defense with our town hall. Uh, but anyways, let's move on here. Next here, you can see some leaked screenshots of the new level 13 gold storage. Uh, you can see it down in the very bottom there. And along with every new town hall, that level that we usually always get, uh, you also get new levels for pretty much every other storage, collector, defense, and every basically every building. So expect that as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any photos of those ones yet. However, it is very likely that they still will be coming. And then the last thing that I wanted to uh, share with you guys is this possible new troop. And this is probably one of the reasons why the original video of this was deleted uh, for leaking a brand new troop and st stuff like that. And uh, since we are getting a, <clears throat> sorry, and since getting a new troop would be such a big deal, uh, that's probably why they wanted to remove the video. But especially considering we haven't what had a new troop in two years almost, we don't have any really good looks at what the new troop will look like other than this image right here, where you can see part of an unfamiliar troop icon at the very bottom in the troop, uh, the troop queue or troop lineup. This doesn't really tell us what kind of troop it will be or what it will do, but it does tell us that we will in fact be receiving a brand new troop. And it makes sense too because it'll have to counteract the brand new defense that we're getting, which is the Giga Tesla or the brand new Town Hall 12. Um, so anyways, that is pretty much all of the news that we have for Town Hall 12. Like I said, I am going to be coming out with another video coming out soon, talking more about my geared up Town Halls idea um, and how they can make this update way more appealing for absolutely everyone. And then also Darian and Galadon actually really, really recently just had a full-on interview. Um, Galadon's splitting it up into a whole bunch of parts though, uh, and part one has just come out and I just finished watching it. There was some pretty interesting stuff that they talked about inside of it. For one, one of the things that he, uh, Galadon asked him was all about having a third name change. And he didn't deny it, uh, which usually is a good sign that they are implementing like a third name change. But he also did mention that... Uh, it's going to be a surprise on how they're doing it, so it might be a bit different than some people might think where you might just pay 25 gems or something like that. Uh, so do keep your eye out for that. Um, and then what else did they say? Um, I believe Galadon asked about... Oh yeah, uh, sorry, Darian was mentioning that in this update that is going to be coming in mid-June. Uh, confirmed by Darian, it'll be coming like sometime mid-June, but he doesn't want to promise anything. Um, he did say that this main update is going to be mainly directed towards the end game players, so like Max Town Hall not, or Max Town Hall 11s and stuff, kind of giving them something to do. He did mention that like he, they don't really need to add too much content as of right now, uh, like in the immediate future for like Town Hall 8s, Town Hall 9s, Town Hall 10s, since they are always going to have brand new content once they upgrade their Town Hall. But for as Town Hall 11s who are pretty much max, like for me, well not quite max, but almost there, all I have to do is my heroes and walls, and I've been doing that for like past year or something, so uh, not very interesting stuff there, so it is really good that they are adding new content for all of these max players, but of course that'll only last for so long. Uh, but yeah, and they obviously did not forget about everyone else who is like not ready to move on to Town Hall 12, um, so they are going to be focusing on that in the next few major updates coming this year. He did mention that they are going to be extremely busy this year, pushing out tons of great and quality updates for us. Uh, they did say that they're going to be having possibly three to four major updates in pretty much the next six six or seven months. And this upcoming one with Town Hall 12 is just going to be one of those. So expect a massive year for Clash of Clans. I am really, really looking forward to it and I can't wait to see what else they bring. Uh, so make sure you are subscribed and turn notifications on because now that the sneak peeks have begun, I'm going to be waking up at basically 2 a.m. every single day or maybe just staying up really late till 2 a.m. But anyways, I'll be doing that and making sure I'm one of the very first ones to bring you guys all of this brand new update news, uh, leaks, hints, all of that good stuff regarding the update. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you guys next video. Peace out. Hey, so like I mentioned earlier in this video, I do know that some people can be really skeptical of giveaways like this where the YouTuber doesn't actually pay out the prize or fakes the giveaway. And to be honest, it's really hard to prove it to be legitimate because of Photoshop and uh, video editing skills. Since to be completely honest, being a YouTuber for over a year, I would be fully capable of Photoshopping some fake payments or video editing, all of that. 
And to me, that just sounds like an awful thing to do because a giveaway like this really does help my videos do better and therefore make me more money. So really, I'm not losing anything by giving some of the money back to my fans or subscribers, especially since if my video does well, then I can give away more of it. Or if it doesn't do well, then I actually don't lose any money. But the main reason that I would never want to fake one of these reasons is not really main due to that, it's more so simply because of integrity, and just being honest about something like this is quite simply the moral thing to do. And like I said, people might be still might be skeptical of some of the evidence for the giveaway, so I guess all I can really do is show it to you guys and let you guys decide what you think of it. Also, I have done a ton of giveaways in the past, and all of those have been paid out in full as well. And in some of them, I also collaborated with other YouTubers like Past Amazing, King Gamer, uh, Bob Bobson. I also did one, one with Clash with Ash, Clash with uh, Surfing Boy, and a bunch of other really well-respected YouTubers. Uh, so for whatever that's worth, you can go ahead and ask them as well. And if for whatever reason you trust them more than me, uh, just go ahead and ask them. And lastly, here is the most recent giveaway winner, Armando Clasher, who won $45, and that was actually just paid out. Anyways, I hope this does help to clear the air a little bit more and maybe helps you guys understand a bit more where I'm coming from and how I would never want to fake a how I would never want to fake a giveaway like this. It is truly a great way to promote one's videos and at the same time give back to all of the subscribers who really truly help them get to this point. However, it really is unfortunate that so many other dishonest YouTubers, and I'm not just talking about Clash YouTubers, just YouTubers in general, it's really unfortunate that they ruined this kind of system and lost trust from a lot of the community. But anyways, have a great rest of the day, and good luck to those of you who do choose to enter into the giveaway. Peace out.